Hi, how are you going? I hope you're feeling as well as possible on your medicines. I'm Pharmacist Fee. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're looking at why you need a CMI for each of your medicines and to keep your CMIs near your medicines so they're easy to find. Now, are you wondering what a CMI is? If so, a CMI is consumer medicines information and every registered medicine in Australia has one. Don't they, Denver? So you are very welcome to ask your pharmacist to print or email a CMI for each of your medicines for you if you live in Australia, because this is a government funded free service. If you live elsewhere, it is still worth asking your pharmacist about how to access specific information about each medicine if it doesn't already come with the medicine. A CMI can tell you what the medicine is for, which is usually at the top of the first page, and what the medicine looks like for your exact tablet or capsule strength, which is usually on the last or second last page. And this helps you avoid getting confused about which medicine is which. The CMI tells you how to take your medicine usually on the second or third page of the CMI. Also, the CMI tells you where to keep your medicine so it doesn't get too hot or too cold or affected by sunlight, moisture or air. And remember also to keep your medicines well out of reach of children. If you have allergies, you can read all your medicine's ingredients on the last page or second last page of the CMI, which is important because your medicine container and the label will usually only have the active ingredient name, which is the ingredient that does what the medicine is supposed to do. Whereas the CMI also tells you about the other ingredients of your medicines too, which do things like give the medicine its texture and help hold tablets together or stop liquids from separating. And if you know you have any allergies, reading all the ingredients in the CMI can help you find out if they are likely to be safe for you. For example, thankfully, most medicines don't have gluten in them these days, but a few of them still do. So people with celiac disease like me need to avoid those medicines. And a lot of tablets have lactose in them, which may not be a problem for most people, but if you have lactose intolerance and take a lot of medicines each day, you might like to ask the pharmacist to order different brands of the same medicines which don't have lactose in them to help you feel as good as possible on your medicines. Right, now, if there was a competition for the most important thing you can do with a CMI, personally, I think one of the absolute front runners is every time you get a new medicine, ask your pharmacist for a CMI. And before you leave the pharmacy with that new medicine, check if the CMI instructions on how to take the medicine match your medicines, allergies and contacts list and your medicine label and container. Because sometimes doctors might want you to take a medicine a different way to the CMI instructions for a very good reason. But occasionally doctors writing prescriptions or pharmacists making labels for medicines might make mistakes. And if you think any of those things, CMI, medicines list or container or label, if any of them seem different, ask your pharmacist to check them before you leave the pharmacy. Another top contender for the title of most important thing you can do with a CMI is finding out where to keep your medicines. Because where you keep your medicines might make a big difference to whether they work and also how likely they are to give you side effects or even dangerous effects because heat, cold, sunlight, moisture, or oxygen in the air may cause chemical changes in some medicines. So check in your CMI what temperature range each medicine should be stored in. And you'll find most medicines should be stored around room temperature, which is supposed to be less than 25 degrees Celsius or less than 30 degrees Celsius, depending on the medicine. So the best place to keep these types of medicines is in a cool, dark, dry cupboard that is out of reach of children. And remember, also check the storage advice on containers of herbal medicines, vitamins, mineral supplements, and non-prescription medicines from the supermarket or pharmacy too. Although they don't have CMIs, 
where you keep them is still really important. Some medicines need to be kept in the fridge, which is Australian for refrigerator. And this usually means around five degrees Celsius, but between two to eight degrees might be okay too. Just check your CMI. But most medicines must never be frozen. So never put medicines in the freezer, unless your doctor tells you to. Other handy hints for storing your medicines are, Never keep medicines in a motor vehicle or windowsill where heat or sunlight or wintry cold temperatures could damage them. And despite what you see in TV shows or movies where people always seem to get medicines from a bathroom cupboard, don't keep your medicines in the bathroom because moisture can damage some medicines. And do keep your medicines in their container right up until you're ready to take them because even moisture in normal room air may affect some medicines like aspirin if they are left out of their packaging. There's more really important medicine safety info in CMIs that we haven't covered in this video, so make sure you also see video four about how CMIs help you know what to do if you forget to take a medicine or take too much of a medicine, and video five about how handy your CMIs are both to know about possible side effects of medicines and what to do about side effects. My top tips from today's CMI video are, ask your pharmacist for a CMI for each of your medicines and make sure the CMI instructions on how to take your medicine match your medicine's allergies and contacts list and your medicine label and container. And if they seem different, ask your pharmacist for advice so you can try to take the right dose of the right medicine taken the right way at the right time, every time. And use your CMI to find out what your medicine is for and what it looks like. And make sure everything you take is out of reach of children. And avoid keeping medicines in motor vehicles, on windowsills or in the bathroom. And only get medicines out of their containers when you're ready to take them. Plus, keep all your medicine containers so you can regularly check expiry dates. And you'll have the batch number just in case there was ever a fault by the manufacturer and never take medicines after their expiry date. Congratulations on sticking with us through quite a lot of info in this video. I hope it has helped you discover some of the medicine safety wonders of CMIs and why you need a CMI for each of your medicines and to keep your CMIs near your medicines so they're easy to find. Please click subscribe and like to see more of these pharmacist fee medicine safety videos. And we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, look at the camera. Where's the camera? Oh, where is it? Can you see? Oh, you're such a good boy.